Brian Goddard. It's starting to warm up, you guys. Temperatures uh, basically today right around 40 degrees, but right now we're down to around 35, which is not bad for this time of the year, but we're seeing a few flurries off to the west. I wouldn't be shocked if we had a few flurries uh, off and on. That's typical spring uh, here in southeastern Wisconsin. Better than the three to six inches of snow that they had from Sturgeon Bay up through the north woods just yesterday. Let's take a look what's going on with the weather graphics. Uh, the home opener just a couple of days away now. You can see all kinds of weather on the home opener. The last two years, uh, we've seen normal temperatures temperatures right at around 47 degrees. Here it is. That's the normal. And that's what we had. But two years or three years ago, we were 71. It was the first time in Miller Park's history that the roof was open on opening day. The warmest has been 82 degrees. The coldest has been around 32. And you can't forget uh, that back in 1982, the home opener was postponed because of nine inches of snow. Nothing like that this year expected. We're expecting another mild year. Temperatures outside right now, uh, 33 degrees. Northeast wind is at 9, humidity at 78%. Uh, the high today in the record books will go down as 50 degrees. You're saying it didn't feel like 50. Well, if you're up around 1 a.m. it was. That's when the warm front was pushing on through. We were 48 last night at uh, 10 o'clock. And the front made its way through. We were in the uh, mid 30s for most of the afternoon. 24 hour rainfall was about a half of an inch. That would have easily been about five inches of snow, but we were just a little bit too warm. Still a little cool tomorrow along the lakefront for this time of the year. Uh, but back off to the west, the warming trend that we've talked about all week is developing and will be here for Sunday and Monday. Monday, the next storm system moves in. We are still forecasting a chance of rain, but it's looking less and less likely during the morning hours. So for tailgating, it uh, looks to be improving. Of course, keep up to date this weekend with Jesse Ritka and Michael Fish. They'll give you the uh, tailgating forecast. But we will see some showers later in the day and even some rumbles of thunder. I'll take that over the snowstorm that's expected in northern Wisconsin through the Dakotas on Monday evening. Not here. Temperatures now in the upper 20s to lower 30s. The wind chills have been basically in the 20s to lower 30s around the region. And tonight our low temperatures drop back into the mid to upper 20s. Northeast wind at 5 to 15, so a little bit of a wind chill. Tomorrow, unfortunately, the wind will be off the lake. That means cooler at the lake with that cold water. 37 in Sheboygan will try to hit 40 here in Milwaukee and then 38 in Racine. Inland areas from Waukesha inland will be in the low to mid 40s where we should be. High pressure tomorrow gives us that northeasterly wind as it moves off to the east. Southerly winds kick up for Sunday and it's going to start to warm up, especially away from the lakefront. It looks to be very nice. 27 degrees tonight, just a few flurries. Tomorrow 40 degrees, partly cloudy. Inland areas will be in the mid 40s. The 10 day outlook 54 on Sunday. I do believe there will be a 60 west, west of Waukesha. If we don't hit it on Sunday, it'll definitely happen somewhere in southeastern Wisconsin on Monday. But thunderstorms likely later in the day and then cooler the rest of next week. We could still see some snow Tuesday night and into Wednesday. I was all excited about the 60 and then I, the then I just burst your bubble. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. <laughs> you got it.